Hey, hey. So we've got um, the A minor blues using the A minor chord, the D minor chord, and the E minor chord in a 12 bar. Four measures on the A minor. Just like when we do an A major blues with, let's say, the A7, the D9, and the E9 chords, we can use the A minor pentatonic scale to solo on all these changes. Position 6 on the A note at fret 5. So that's a good thing to practice. 1, 2, 3, 4, A minor pentatonic. 1, 2, 3, 4, A minor pentatonic. how I'm repeating the riff. E minor, solo on the 3-4. D minor, solo on the 3-4. A minor, solo on the 3-4. E minor. Back to the head. The other thing that we could do when we're playing the A major blues, we could use the G major scale on top of all three chords. And when we're playing that A, it almost has like a Dorian sound because we're playing the A chord with a G major scale, position 2, off of the A note at fret 5. So A is the 2 in G. G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. Um, and that G major scale will work over all of our chords and sound pretty cool. When we play the A minor blues, however, for the A minor chord, the G major scale sounds great. G major scale sounds great. But when we go to the D minor chord, it doesn't sound quite as good. And the reason for that is in the key of G, we have three major chords, a G, a C, and a D, whereas when we're playing our A minor blues, we're playing a D minor chord with that G major scale on top of it. It just doesn't, it doesn't vibe so well. So one of the solutions you can uh, make for that is for both the A minor and the E minor in the 12 bar A minor blues, we could use the G major scale, position five, a uh, position two at fret five. But when the D minor chord comes, we could just switch back to pentatonic position six. So here's what it'll sound like. A minor, G major scale. G major scale again. Pentatonic scale. Back to G major scale. cool fun thing to practice. Now the last thing that we could talk about is playing the true Dorian mode over each one of the chords. That means that for the A minor chord we play the G major scale because A is the two of the G. Then when we go to the D minor scale we play the C major scale because the D is the two in the key of C which would be position six of the major scale at fret five. So that would be one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, slide back, one, two, four, slide back up, one, two, four, one, three, four. Sixth position at fret five, C major scale. And then when we go to the E minor chord, we do the same thing, but this time we play the sixth position of the D major scale, because the E is the two of D. So now we would play sixth position of the major scale at fret seven. What I like most about that is when we get to our five chord, I could play position six and do a riff. And then when I walk down to the D minor chord, I play the same position.
right at fret 5. So I can do the exact same riff. Back to position 2. Position 6. That's true modal playing, where we're playing the, the particular scale to each individual chord. So again, for A minor, we played the G major scale, because A is the two of G, which is position two at fret five. For D minor, we played the C major scale, which is position six at fret five, the major scale. And for E minor, we played the D major scale, which is position six at fret seven. So there's some modal playing on top of an A minor blues. Have fun.